Hi guys, welcome to Excel Tech. So here are 15 insane tips and tricks to master your Microsoft Office usage. So in PowerPoint, instead of saving a presentation file in .ppt or .pptx format, save the file in .pps format so that when you open the file every time, it will be opened in full screen slideshow mode automatically instead of getting opened in a native PowerPoint window. So this is how it works. Similarly, in Microsoft Excel, you can save a spreadsheet file in .xlsb format to compress the file size up to 75%. And here you can notice that the size of the file saved in xlsx format is 877 KB and that of saved in xlsb format is 868 kilobytes, which is not a great amount of difference, but when you work with large files, there will be a considerable amount of difference in saving files between those two formats. In any Microsoft Office app, instead of deleting one character at a time, you can delete one word at a time by pressing Ctrl and Backspace keys at the same time. And you can add hyperlinks to your document very easily by using a simple shortcut. First of all, select the part of the text that you want to convert into a hyperlink and press Ctrl and K in the keyboard. And in the pop-up box that appears, you can create a hyperlink to an existing file in your local storage or even to a web page a place in the document, say for example, the top or the bottom of the page and to create a new document or email address. First of all, let me just select an example. So here I've converted this word languages to a hyperlink. So just press control and click on this link to open it. In order to select a particular word, sentence or a paragraph in a document, instead of dragging your mouse over the text, you can just double click on a word to highlight it and triple click to select the entire paragraph or the entire section in which the word is contained. And if you want to add some placeholder text to your document, instead of typing random characters in the keyboard, you can generate lorem ipsum text into a document by using a simple function. For starters, lorem ipsum is just a dummy text which has no meaning at all, but its structure is very similar to real meaningful text. So in order to generate lorem ipsum, just type the equal sign and type L-O-E-R-M, lorem. And within parenthesis, just type the number of paragraphs needed. For example, let me type four and the number of sentences to be included in each paragraph. So let me type 10 and press enter. And the placeholder text will be generated automatically. So if you're working with a large piece of document, sometimes you want to know about the hidden characters in the document, including the single space, tab space, and new line characters, which are sometimes referred to as white spaces by programmers. In order to make all those characters visible to you, just press Ctrl, Shift, and 8 on a Windows PC, and Command plus 8 on a Mac. So now I want to talk about a rarely used yet an important symbol, the copyright symbol. So in order to type the copyright symbol in any document, just hold the Alt key and press 0169. Simple. The copyright symbol will be typed automatically by pressing this shortcut. So instead of just copying it from any external source such as the character map, it is easy to use. And in order to know about the definition of a particular word or a phrase in a document, instead of navigating to a browser to search for it, you can search for it natively within the Office apps itself. Just select the particular word or a phrase that you want to search about and right click on it, find the smart lookup menu and the web search results will be here. So just take a look at my screen right now. It is so ugly, right? With uneven formatting, with different parts of text having different formatting styles. So I just want to clear all those formatting and make it as a plain text. All I need to do is to select the entire text so I can just select it using the control and A shortcut. And in order to clear the formatting of the entire document, just press control and space and they will be back to a normal text. So you can also select particular parts of the text to clear formatting on them. So if you are the person who loves minimalism with minimal level of distractions on your screen, you can just minimize this large toolbar ribbon by using a simple shortcut. Just press control and F1 key simultaneously to minimize this ribbon and have less amount of distractions. And in order to get it back, just press the same shortcut again, Control and F1, and it will be back. Do you know that you can add a calculator to your Microsoft Word application? All you need to do is to go to the file, click More, Options, and then go to 
the quick access toolbar menu and just select all commands and search for calculator and just click add and save it and now just type any mathematical expression so let me just type some simple expression and just select it and click the circular calculator icon over here in the quick toolbar and the result will be found here in the status bar so you might know that you can convert your word file into a pdf file by using simple tools such as print to pdf or the export option in the word itself but you can also convert your word document into a html file without any third party apps and services for that just go to the file click save as and just choose your desired folder and in the save as type click html and the word document file will be converted to html automatically by the office app itself we can find and replace a character word sentence or a paragraph in any document right in a similar way we can find and replace white space characters too for that just open the find and replace menu by clicking ctrl and h at the same time and click this more button and under the special drop down menu you'll find all the special invisible white space characters within this drop down so let me just replace a single white space character with a tab space in this document so that's it and last but not the least here is how to enable readability statistics in microsoft word all you need to do is to go to file and then click options go to proofing tab and find show readability statistics enable this and save the settings after that just go to the review tab and click spelling and grammar which will perform a spell check across your document so here is the readability statistics of my document and microsoft recommends that this flesh reading e score should be between 60 and 70 which shows that you are a good writer oh wait minus 31.2 okay no issues about that so this is all about the video thank you so much for watching till the end and if this video did help you then don't forget to hit that subscribe button I'll catch you guys very soon in the next one.